Hi, ladies and gentlemen, Adam Winch here with Defenders USA, and today we got a special treat for you because we have a real shooter here. Hi, I'm Kathy Van Oat, and I'm happy to have this opportunity to come out and shoot with Adam. So Kathy is a shooter, right? She's the dry fire queen. If oh, you, queen, if you follow the active self-protection dry fire group and on Mantis, if you follow that too, holy cow, she's a shooter. So we're going to try out something fun today. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take and shoot this from 10 yards and you have 10 full seconds. We're really doing a form of a drill that several of us have learned from Rob Latham. But what we're doing with it is in that 10 seconds, you're drawing the gun from concealment, shooting from 10 yards at a B8. Now, no Notice these B8s, these are circles with conical rings that go in. And anything outside the eight ring is nothing, it's no points. If it's in the eight ring, it's eight points. If it's in the nine, it's nine points. If it's in the 10 or the X ring, it's 10 points. And we don't know how many rounds are gonna be shot because it's based on your ability of the balance of both speed and accuracy. So in your 10 seconds, start it on a randomized clock on a beeper, the go signal, you get to draw the gun and draw and fire your first 10 rounds. Now there's only 10 rounds in the gun. That's how we're starting. So there's nine in the magazine, one in the pipe. Then once you run through those, going to an empty gun reload or an emergency reload, you're gonna reload the gun from concealment. So getting a magazine from concealment, reloading a full magazine, and you're gonna continue shooting. And you shoot as many rounds as you can within that 10 second time frame. At the 10 second time frame, you stop and then we'll come forward and we'll check the points. So let's say that she squirts out 45 rounds because she's a ninja, but only five are inside here. That's she only gets credit for five and it's only also based on the points, whatever is there. So if she puts all five in the 10 ring, that'd be 50 points. But if she puts all five in the eight ring, so that would be 40 points versus 50 points, right? So it's a balance of speed and precision from 10 yards. This is a tough test. We got a randomized start time on this clock. It, once I hit the button, it'll be one to four seconds. It'll go off, so we don't know when. She's gonna draw, she has 10 seconds to get everything done. Are you ready? Yes. All right, stand by. And time. So last shot, last shot was at 1023. So we've only got nine shots that work. Okay. So her last shot went off at 1023. Let's look back. Okay. So her ninth shot got off at 9.41. You might have a hard time seeing it. So let's go in and see what we got here. So, okay. So I could tell, I could tell you right now, these where Kathy don't shoot Adam's phone. <laughs> <laughs> well, isn't that how it is in real life, right? <laughs> yeah. You've got to hit your intended target and maybe there's somebody close by that you don't want to shoot. Right? right. So thank you, by the way. <laughs> All right. So we have one out, two out, three out, four out. Okay. We fired nine rounds. The ninth round went off at 9.41. Okay. So we're down two, four, five, and two inside, nicely done. Five, so we have a, out of nine hits, we got 45 points out of nine shots in 9.41. Okay. All right, so was that kind of tough? Yeah, yeah, because like you said, in real life, you have to be careful that you're not gonna shoot something that doesn't need to be shot. And I was worried about not shooting your phone. <laughs> so. Thank you. <laughs> What are some lessons you feel you learned in this? Or what is something you think you could take away from it for next time? So what I, I felt was that I was not getting my sight back on target as quickly as I would have liked. And then, of course, you know, the not wanting to shoot something that didn't need to be shot. But um, I wish I could have gone a little faster. Um, I feel like if I had been in just like at seven yards, I probably would have been able to get more hits, but it's a 10 yard drill and I get that. Maybe if I'd have gone even just a little slower, um, I could have gotten more hits in the center. Okay, so tough test, right? Yeah. All right, well, we're gonna try it again here in a little bit. So uh, I'm gonna go give it a try and then let's come back okay. and let's do, both do it again. All right, so Kathy gave it a shot. Now I'm gonna give it a shot. So I'm starting on the clock and I'm at 10 yards. So you may not be able to see it, but there's a couple of people here that are trying to keep me honest. So this is actually 10 yards. Here we go. On the beat. Stand by. Oh. 
<laughs> okay, so my last shot went off after the 10 second mark. So my last shot went off at 10, 3, 8, 10, 3, 8. So let's go back and look and see where it actually is. So my last shot went off at 9.98, 9.98. So we'll go up and count what's in there, but last shot went off at 9.98. Let's go in and take a look at the target. All right, so obviously I did not do as well as I thought. I let a whole bunch go. In fact, I let some out here, out here, out here. So I'm completely down on those three. Everything else here is a line break and it looks like it's inside. So let's count it up. So there's 22 on here. That could be even one more from what I can tell, but at least there's 22 on here. So I must have shot a, a total of 25 rounds in that time frame. But now let's start counting what we actually got. So let's go with 25 and we have a 9.98 was it took those shots to go off in. Well, okay, so never mind. Actually 24 because one was outside the time limit. So 24 in 9.98. Total score of 240 possible. And I'm down, what did I just say? Down 20, right? Down 20. So that means I got a 220 out of 240 in 9.98 seconds from 10 yards. Okay, so lessons learned for me. I could tell my dry fire has not been doing what it needs to do, right? Because I just haven't taken the time to do it. And I could tell I was not as focused on the process of shooting. I just let the gun slop out. I think, and maybe the crowd behind the camera tell me, I think these are some of my first rounds or in the middle of my first string, I think. And I noticed I was just spraying and praying at a certain point. I lost my visual focus of my dot in relation to the target and I just tried to hammer the gun. Then I brought my focus back to the target and made sure I saw the streak of my dot coming back in and I felt everything go back to the center, both in my grip and in my vision I saw it so I really kind of re-engaged my focal point or my focus to the drill versus just trying to go fast so think of it this way if in a defensive situation if you've actually got to sit there and put rounds on target it's important not to spray and pet pray it's important to stay in the process to know exactly what you're doing and pay attention to what you're doing because lives could be at stake here therefore these might be johnny cochran coming to get you these might be doing that having the impact at once and if i had taken the time to focus more we could have got this done with even more rounds in a possibly even sooner time frame. So focus in the middle of your drills or as you're doing, stay present in the moment and maybe better results will come. All right, so that feels pretty good for me. But anyways, we're gonna go back and check for Kathy and see what she can do again. Go ahead, load, make ready. So Kathy's gonna give it her second try, second time around. So we did some training. Uh, Benjamin, who's here with me, myself, we did a little bit of training with Kathy. She worked on a few things and holy cow, I think you're gonna see a big difference this time. All right, no pressure. Okay, you've got 10 seconds. Are you ready? Stand by. Nicely done. So your 10th shot, so you got off one more shot this time. Your 10th shot went off at 960, 960. So she got a 960. So she got one more round in this time compared to last time. How'd that feel? I guess a little bit better, but I really did not hit the target as many times as I would have liked. Let's go take a look. So this was your first shot right here. Okay, uh, I think this one of these was your second. So we're out. That's not a grease ring break. Okay, so we're out here. Okay, so you fired a total of, let me step across here. So you fired a total of 10 rounds in 9.60 seconds, okay? So out of a possible 100 points, we have 27 out of one, 27 points out of 100 in 9.6 seconds from 10 yards. What do you think? I think I need to control my recoil better. And I need to get to the live range more often. Dry fire is important, but I think you also have to verify it with live rounds. And um, I need to do that more. So could we say that dry fire, as wonderful as it is, because it's excellent, that 
from my perspective, you've got to be brutally honest mm -hmm. about everything in dry fire. Yes. It's not just seeing the dot get there, it's also gripping well enough so follow on shots can come easily, right? That's the one downfall I find for me in dry fire is I just go so fast, sometimes I see the dot flash there, but if I had to take multiple shots after that, if I don't have my grips, my, my non-support grip right, then it starts higgly-piggly in the target. So, so for me, when you talk about is it we talk about is it good enough this isn't good enough well i would say this right based on that target if you were shooting at a human being from 10 yards you're poking holes all over the place in there right from a defensive standpoint good can we tighten it up yep but guess what i was doing the same i need to tighten mine up too so, okay all right let's go do it again it's humbling isn't it this is humbling <laughs> yeah it is all right for the beat stand by Okay, so I felt my grip get a little bad. I fumbled my draw. Um, I felt my grip open up. I had to retighten in the middle there. The last shot went off at 10.34, 10.34. And let's see what the actual... Okay, so the final shot within the 10 second went off at 1.96. I'm sorry, 9.96. So we're gonna take one off and let's go see. Okay, so we're shooting at the two down here. And if you notice, the vast majority of my grouping is over to here. And the reason being is I went too far around the gun in my grip, what I call over rotational grip. I gripped too far around to the gun and I didn't seal well in the drumsticks of the hands here. There was a couple that went a little bit low for me and I felt my pinky slightly sloppy. So I tightened them up mid shooting and I watched it come back. So 19 shots fired in a nine point I think it was 9.6. So therefore we have a total of 190 points that it could be. So down 18, that would be 172. 172 out of 190 possible in slightly less than 10 seconds. I think I did my math right. Okay, well there you go boys and girls. Notice based on the target here, if you split the target in half, the vast majority of my shots are over to this side. Sometime soon, I'm gonna come out with a grip video talking about how to grip a gun properly uh, so that it keeps everything true. And I just slightly over rotationally gripped on my gun and allowed my rounds to drift over here. Occasionally I lost my focus and then I brought my focus back and it brought the rounds back. Anyways, hey, this is a great drill. I think if somebody would like to go try this, I'd love to see you guys do this. And let's just say for future reference, besides today, let's call out Lynn Vandernoat. Let's see if Lynn can try this one. And another one we'd like to see, hopefully on camera, is maybe also Benjamin Dunwell. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Adam Wench, Defenders USA. Take care.